Hey, hello, Fight Fans. This is Dominic Verdine with BringTV.com, recording from the Stub Hub in Carson, California. Uh, today was an exciting uh, event. Many, many fights. Fight fans were intrigued by the uh, boxing matches. I have had interviews with Gennady Golovkin, Jesus Soto Carras, uh, Adrian Broner, uh, Sean Porter, uh, many, many others. Uh, check it out. This is Dominic Radin at the fights. Is that controversial, you know, what you said about the Mexicans? How, how, how you been living up with that? Um, everything's, everything's the same, man. I don't lose no sleep. And uh, hopefully they don't lose no sleep. You're looking in good shape, man. Uh, yeah, I'm at fight weight, man. I, I'm ready to fight anybody right now. When are we expecting uh, Adrian Broner to be back? AB? Um, whenever somebody step up, we just wait. But we ready. We already in shape. And we're going to be at 140? I don't know, man. We get, it don't matter what. It don't matter what weight. Any names out there you want to throw up? Put a body up? in there. Any names out there? Maybe just put a body in there. What about new welterweight champ Sean Porter? Hey, man, listen. Put, put a, body. a body in there. <laughs> Anybody, man. And what are you expecting into uh, tonight's main event, Robert Guerrero? Um, hopefully Robert Guerrero wins, and um, hopefully we can make that fight happen. And why don't you let your fan fans, your fight fans, know why you'll be champ again? Come on, man. I'm AB, man. <laughs> always balling, man. You know me, man. I'm going to always be on top. Come on, man. Even even after the loss, I, I came out on top. More people knew me. They didn't even know who I lost to. And then after the fight I just won, they don't even talk about my the fight I lost no more. That's just how the boxing game is. And what have you learned from your loss? Um, What I learned, you know, um, keep, the, keep, keep the close ones around you. And, and, and know who really love you. That's what, what I learned. What about your big bro, Floyd? Ah, uh, man, you know, that, that's a brother from another mother, man. <laughs> Self-explanatory. What, what do you expect in Floyd's career? Who's he going to fight next? Hey, man, I, I, I know who he's going to fight next, but that ain't for me to tell. All right, A.V., always a pleasure. Thank you so much. All right. You're with Cito Lopez. Cito, talk to us about today's uh, events. Can I check out some action, man? Uh, you know, I should be getting word on my, my fight pretty soon. Uh, I'll be back in September, so just came to see some, some action in Southern California, man. <laughs> hey, you know, speaking of uh, opponents, I'm not a promoter, but uh, I saw Adrian Broner here today, and he fights at 140. Any thoughts on that? I fight Adrian Broner, yeah, yeah. Yeah? You know, uh, there should be a move with uh, coming up uh, to, to 147 soon. I, I'll be waiting at 147. Oh, maybe a catch weight between you two. Maybe that'll 144, 145? That'll, that'll work too. Either way, you know, I'm looking for, for good, exciting fights, and I think that, that's one of them right there. Well, you got some other welterweight contenders like uh, Devin Alexander, who fought earlier today, won a decision over Jesus Sota Carras. Then you also have uh, Robert Guerrero fighting in today's main event. What do you think about those two guys? Exactly. There, there's some, some good fights out there. Uh, you know, uh, we got to see uh, Sota Carras and Alexander center today. It's a good scrap. You know, I'd love to get in there with either one of them. You know, uh, Robert Guerrero's next, and uh, you know, any any of these fighters are, are possible opponents, so I got my out on them. What are your thoughts on uh, Lomachenko versus Russell today? It was a good uh, good fast fight, man. Uh, they were quick, snap. Uh, it was exciting, man. It was, it was a good fight. So when do we expect you back in the ring? Any idea? Any uh, date for us? We're working on a date, but we should be back in in September, man. We're, we're, we're working on a date. Alright, well thank you so much. Always right. a pleasure. Thanks, man. Thank you. With Mario Lopez, big boxing fan, talk to us about today's event. Well, first of all, nothing but great action happens at the Stub Hub here. It's always a great night. And here in LA, obviously my hometown, I'm partial to it. The weather's beautiful. It's been a great card so far, and uh, we're getting ready for the main event. Russell um, and Lomachenko was a great fight. So was uh, so was uh, uh, Devin Alexander Devin versus Alexander Jesus Sosa Carras. Sosa Carras. So um, it's been, it, it seems like it's been taken to another level each fight. So I'm looking forward to Guerrero, um, and uh, he's going to close the show. Now, I think. If Robert Guerrero is victorious, could you see a Guerrero versus Alexander? 
yeah, I'd like to see a Guerrero right-hander or, or even more so a Guerrero Broner, which would be great. So, you know, fingers crossed for that. I just, great guy I just spoke to Adrian. He, he says he wants a Guerrero fight. That'd be great. I'd love to see that fight. And Sean Porter's also here, so let's not leave him out of the mix. He's a good guy, too. Trains over a wild card right now. He's a good guy, too. Well, I better get ready for the All right. Place, Thank you, Mario. Time. Take care. Always a pleasure. IBF welterweight champ, Sean Porter. Sean, talk to us about today's event. Uh, big fights out here, man. Uh, I was pulling for Gary. He didn't get the decision. It was a big fight for him. Um, but like you said, man, a lot, a lot of excitement out here. What are your thoughts on Devin Alexander, a fighter you beat for the IBF title? He looked good in this fight back. He fought a, he fought a slower fighter, uh, and he did what he had to do to win. He looked good. And what are you expecting from uh, Kel Brook for your first defense? Uh, or second defense, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, second defense, man. Second defense. Should be a good fight. It should be exciting. Uh, August 9th is, is the date, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back in the ring and doing what I do. And I was talking to Adrian Broner. I asked him about him possibly being an opponent. What do you think? I don't know, man. Whatever they want to do, man. Uh, I got Kel Brook next, and the world is, uh, is, is mine after that. My last question, Robert Guerrero, yeah. what do you expect in that fight, uh, and could be, he be in your future? Should be a good fight, man. I think everybody's in my future right now, man. That but exciting fight, 147. You know, I, last thing, last thing. Um, since you became champion, what does it feel like now being a champion? It's great, man. It's, it's very humbling. It's fun. It's exciting. I love it. All right. Thank you, Sean. Thank Always you. a pleasure. Sergio Mora wants to fight Kid Chocolate. What do you think? Good fight? Come on, guys. Come on, 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 come where are we going? Where are we going with it? Going to Why else? 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 Why July 26th. July 26th coming up? Both coming up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Get it? Get it? Get it? So, Gennady, did you enjoy tonight's uh, fights? Yeah, sure. It was good? Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Sir, no more. Sir, sir. Hey, yo, back up, man. Hey, so good night. Your fight fans keep growing, huh? Your fan base. Non stop. Robert, are we going to see the uh, Russian Mexican in, uh, in uh, with Lomachenko? You know what? Lomachenko's got skills, bro. He's a yeah. tough guy. Jesus Huh? Jesus? Tough dude, man. Lomachenko, get down. And did you see Broner here today? Yeah, I did. <laughs> did you say hello? No, I didn't get to see him. <laughs> I understand Marco's, uh, Madonna's younger brother fought today. Yeah, he fought today. Talk to us about that fight. He had a, he had a uh, four round unanimous decision. Looking good? Yeah, look good, yeah. Tough guy he fought. Hey, Drift called you? How's uh, Brandon? Yeah, I talked to him not long ago. How's Brandon looking in the gym? Training hard, man. Training hard. Looking good? Looking good, yes. yes. Last question, when should we expect Marcos Madonna back in the ring? Hopefully in September. Hopefully September, what is it? 13, 14? Yeah, hopefully that day. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Punches that both of them never went down. Like I heard a guy saying right there that he never seen a fight like this, and none of the fighters went down. So who do you, uh, who fight. do you, who do you think won tonight? I mean, we, we don't have a decision yet. And I think Robert, Robert the I think Robert won. Yeah. So now you're a junior featherweight, junior featherweight champion. There was a fight today, Lomacheco, Vasily Lomacheco against Gary Russell. He just won the WBO featherweight championship. You're only four pounds away from the featherweight division. Is it possible that you will be in the featherweight division and against a fighter like Vasily Lomacheco? Yeah, of course. Yeah. We, you know, we came here to, to watch that fight because we know that they could be in our next opponent if we move up the weight. So we, we come study and we study that if you pressure Lomacheco, you don't know what kind of what to do. So I think if we ever get a fight, we're going to do that. Try to pre go pressure and pressure and try to fight him. Now, I know you've talked about wanting to fight uh, Abner Mars, but Abner's moving up to 130. Talk to us about that. Okay, uh, maybe uh, that's what we have to go up to. We're going to move up 26, and then hopefully we do good there, and then move up to 130, and maybe hopefully fight Mari too. When should we expect you back in the ring? Uh, we will talk in to my manager, and he said uh, August or September, either one of those months, but I think it's hopefully maybe September. All right, Leo, thank you.
let's get back. Robert, what a war, what a war. Tell us about this victory. It was a tough one, man. You know, my plan was to get out there and box him, you know, put punches together, but right away I fell into just banging it out with him, man. Um, you know, it's one of those habits I gotta break, but fans love it. I know you guys love it. A lot of action, and uh, you know what? It was a tough one, man. The guy was strong. He hit hard. Fight of the year, Cat. He was, uh, you know, he was body strong too. When I hit him, uh, you know, he he wouldn't move. Were you happy by the way you fought here tonight? Oh yeah, definitely. I was happy. Uh, you know, there's still a lot I wanted to do. Uh, you know, but you know, when you come out and fight a 12 round fight hard like that. Hey, you know you're going to shake out those problems. Did you expect him to be as tough as well? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, look at his record. I mean, he has a lot of knockouts. He's punching in terms of fighting, like I said. And you got a guy coming from overseas getting his opportunity on Showtime Championship Boxing. He's going to come 110% better than you saw him. Hey, Robert. Do you think you had to fight him like that? Um, no, I could have boxed him and just moved and outboxed him on the outside. And as you see, when I got on my toes, he was having trouble. But, um, you know, I just have a habit of getting in there and banging his you know, right? Uh, you know, I'm going to just lay back right now, see where my management got going, and, uh, you know, let them figure that out. You know, there's a lot of big fights out there. I mean, you guys have been mentioning a bunch of names, and, uh, you know, it's time to it's time uh, to make a lot of big fights happen. So, uh, you know, I'm going to enjoy this win, and then let my management do their job. Did that cross? Uh, yeah, you know, on the inside, uh, you know, on the inside, you know, I, I can fight on the inside. Everybody knows that. Um, you know, I was a little, a little rusty on the inside, too, so... Uh, you know, like like you guys kept asking me, you know, is there going to be a, any ring for us? And like I said, you know, you don't find out until you're in that, you're actually in that ring. So. What advantages did you find CrossFit provided for you in this fight, if anything? Well, the endurance. endurance. I mean, if you if you look at uh, look at the fight, I mean, he hit me with a lot of damn body shots. You know, he hit me with a lot of body shots. He was trying to take me out to the body. Um, and, uh, you know, everything held up strong. I mean, the endurance was great. You know, and I guess in the last round, I don't even know how many punches I threw in that. He started putting pressure and banging away. So, uh, um, you know, the CrossFit, you know, like I said before, I'm just watching the CrossFit. I said, I want to work to do it. I'm going to go home and get back to work. Robert, have you seen the eye yet? Have you seen your eye yet? You look like a Raider, man. How much visibility do you have in round 12? What was that? How much visibility did you have in round 12? Um, you know, I can see, I can see decent out of the eye, so... Uh, no, you know, but over there. a lot of times he was throwing that looping feet. right hand, and uh, I was—he was catching me with it. One and, more uh, question. You know, it, just kept, it just kept closing it up, uh, closing it up more and more. But uh, you know, I'm the type of guy that's just going to keep banging away, man, no matter what. Robert, I'll see. I'll see. Round after round, that you kept in this guy with everything the kitchen sink, and he kept going for it. Lewis. I like my guys. Robert, I'll see if we expect you back in the ring. He came to fight. Robert, thank you. I'll see if we expect you back in the ring. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, maybe in a couple months. Good. All right, thank you. Oscar, can we get a quick interview for Ring? Quick interview for Ring? Hey, talk to us about today's events, man. It was awesome. Fight of the year, bar none. Uh, Kamagai is just a tremendous, tremendous athlete, fighter. Give him all the credit in the world. Uh, Guerrero, he's a champion, champion's heart. Back, back with a vengeance. Uh, it's exciting. This is what Golden Boy. Are you, are you excited and happy that you gave fight fans what they wanted? No, a fight. This is what they deserve. This is what uh, this is what the fight game is all about, and this is what Golden Boy is all about. And uh, the train is moving full steam ahead. And next we have Canelo versus Laura. Are you excited about that big event? Well, we're gonna have another great event from top to bottom. Uh, Canelo, uh, Lara, Herrera, uh, with Johan Perez, who beat Kamagai. It, it's gonna be another amazing show. And, and again, you've ended the Cold War with top rank. You had Lomachenko against Russell, and that was another great fight. If that's what the fans wanna see, that's what we're gonna give them. Thank you, Oscar. Always a pleasure. Here with Jesus Soltacaraz, who just had an amazing fight against Evan Alexander. Talk to us about that fight. Yo creo que yo dejé todo mi corazón arriba de la pelea, pero pues, el trabajo para él. 
says it was uh, what he expected, and uh, you know he, like, D1 Alexander stepped up, and he did what he had to do, and he left everything he needed to go in the ring. And you can see some fight fans here. What was most difficult about Alexander? Was it the speed, the countering, the movement? It was uh, a little bit of both, he says, but you know, they both uh, had a good war and he gave everything he had to do. And as long as the people are happy and you know, he gives credit to him, you know, everyone's happy. You know, the fight fans are always, uh, you know, saying Sota Caras, chatting Sota Caras, Sota Caras. You fight with the heart, you fight with will, you fight with skills. Is that why you are a fighter? Dice que la gente todos dicen Soto Caraz tiene muchos aficionados y dice por esa razón tus peleas este para la gente con el corazón y todo. Pues yo yo lo, lo, lo que hago todo esto lo hago por la gente, ¿no? Porque ellos realmente son los que me pagan, ellos son los que pagan el boleto para, para venir a ver las la peleas de Soto Caraz. Saben que cuando Soto Caraz pelea de futuro de terreno ya quedó demostrado y gracias a Dios aquí en mi casa en Los Ángeles peleé con, con mi gente y tuve muy buena sensación, aunque el resultado no fue el positivo, pero la gente quedó contenta por, por mi entrega. Sí, es la gente que paga por los tickets, son los que vienen a ver, así que él dice que le gusta hacer esto, lo que hace, y él dice que puso todo en el ring, y él dice que eso es lo que hace. Y mi última pregunta, sé que la lucha ya terminó, pero ¿estás listo para volver al ring? Porque eres solo un hombre que le gusta la lucha. La lucha se acaba de acabar, dice, pero sí. Let's see again, let's see again. <laughs> he's in yeah, great shape. So he says, yeah, you know, they were asking him if uh, he's ready to retire. He says because he's asked three losses. Uh, he's not, he says he feels good. You know, he's ready. If, you know, he has to talk to his manager. He has to talk to Golden Boy and his boss. And, uh, you know, he's ready to go. If next month they need him, he's ready to go. He's showing his abs. He's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure the fight fans will embrace another fight. Thank you. Gracias.